Hi, my name is Lori Goldman, and I am a medical doctor, and I have been a psychiatrist, um, either in training or practicing for the last 25 years or so. When I was in medical school, um, I started it as very undifferentiated. I had no idea what kind of doctor I wanted to be. Um, and, but when I got to the psychiatry clerkship, um, things seemed a little bit different. I had never um, interacted with people with mental illness before. And needless to say, I was a little apprehensive, scared, frightened. You know, what we all do as medical students, watch the nurses to see um, how to behave and what to do. But I was extremely impressed with the way the attending psychiatrist spoke with the patients with mental illness. And they treated them in a very dignified, respectful, human way. And that's when I knew I had to go into psychiatry. I wanted to be that kind of doctor who could speak to patients and show them that kind of respect um, and dignity, even if you were a little bit frightened or didn't know what to do. Um, I also realized that the um, physician-patient relationship was the foundation of any kind of healing that was going to occur. And I thought, you know, the psychiatry residency would give me an opportunity to study that. Um, and that's definitely what it did. My, um, my uh, attending psychiatrists that were psychoanalysts and psychotherapists really helped develop um, and for us to understand what um, the physician-patient relationship was all about. At the same time, um, I started residency right when Prozac was on the cover, both of Time and Newsweek. And everything up until that point had been about psychoanalysis and psychotherapy. And I, um, early in residency, was treating clients who had been in psychotherapy for years, and um, psychotherapy for years and not getting benefit. We put them on a little medicine and even if um, you think medicine isn't good, there was profound effects and profoundly changed people's lives. You know, over the years I left residency and in private practice, more and more patients um, wanted the magic bullet. And pharmaceutical companies wanted to develop the magic bullet. Physicians want to give the magic bullet because that's a great feeling when you give somebody something and everything turns around. And um, of course, if the patients wanted the magic bullet, but as we all know, that really doesn't work as well as we hope. But you know, the, my point being that as a practicing psychiatrist, everything was about medication, medication, medication. There wasn't anything new, and I was really um, disillusioned with the practice of psychiatry. I also, at the same time, was acquiring clients that had a variety of physical symptoms, whether they were um, you know, that their primary care physicians and specialists couldn't figure out what was going on, so they sent them to see me. And really, all I could really do was give them, um, validate they, their symptoms, say they weren't crazy, and kind of give them the lame excuse that um, science really didn't understand what they were experiencing, and it was our fault, not their fault. But I really didn't realize how wrong I was. Um, fortunately, a colleague friend of mine introduced me to functional medicine. You know, I went to the five-day foundational course at IFM, and my life, personally and professionally, was irreversibly changed. Um, you know, my hope is um, that, um, you know, when I started residency, everything was psychotherapy. And then there was a very big paradigm shift to everything being brain biochemistry. I really see functional medicine as the next paradigm shift, not just for um, medicine in general, but especially psychiatry. I want um, people who have symptoms of psychosis or um, depression or anxiety to be seen as um, having a systemic illness, and it just happens to be the brain that we, you know, that is being affected. And hopefully um, with functional medicine, not hopefully, I know with functional medicine, we'll be able to get to a different level of um, recovery than we have presently. Thank you.